Okay. This is a high and this is a low of the zone. Okay, David. Uh, and it's colored in yellow because it's new. These are uh, blue because it's covered, colored in uh, So this is HG. Uh, so these are highs and lows of a rectangle, which is a zone. Okay. So what you do is you go to your chart for HG, for example. Okay. You go to the 60 minute chart. Yeah. And you drop, forget the gray one. That's just a recent one I'm working on right now. Okay. So when you look at this yellow one here, you see the high is 30950. The low is 30825. I've extended it right. I've extended it left. And when I bring that over, 3095, 30825. Okay. You draw that in. You click OK. You go down to the next one, which is down here. You'll see that 29825, 29755. Okay. That's just changed slightly. Um, but that's where that zone is. You draw it on your chart. So each High, low is the high and low of a rectangle, okay, which produces the zone, okay? So in other words, I bait, and, and I will update this, okay? I'm working on one right now for HG, okay? I'm looking at this on the 60 minute. So you always put your, if you're day trading futures or Forex or even stocks, you look at the 60 minute time frame and you look at that. So what I'm looking at right now is this gray one. I'm thinking of putting this one in because Recently, we've tested this over the last couple of days and it's moved back up again off there. So I define that zone by the low point of one big rejection candle and the high point of another one. Look at this one testing here. Look at these testing in here. Look at these. OK, this is a good zone. So this one will go on next week and it will be colored yellow because it's new and all the other ones will go blue because it is absolute bullcrap that there is a resistance or a support level, okay? There's not a tick or a price where things turn around because algorithms or institutional traders, uh, moreover, it will go into a, a range of price. And if they see uh, volume starting to, to taper off um, and that particular sort of zone, that price between this, this, you know, high and low starts to hold, they might see that as volume start to buy. Or if it's too much, they might start to sell. Okay. So they never make a decision at a set price. They make a decision at or within, um, you know, price, a, a, set, a zone. I call them zones, decision zones. Yeah. So here we had a massive rejection in this zone. You see how we had another rejection in that zone. We had another one here and it bounced back off again. Okay, it wasn't a set price. They're not all at the same price. They're within a, um, a price zone. Okay. Okay. So when I when at the moment, I've just done them for metals. Okay. And they are in the metals discord group and you literally go in, you go to trading zones and you download them. When we launch the um, indexes one, I'll do them for the main four indexes and you'll do the same thing. Okay. So I'm trying to help you as much as I can. 